Hey, so I'm making this video to show all of you how dreary and painstakingly cloudy it's been in Chicago. But regardless, um, it's been really hard for me these past two weeks. Uh, and it seems to be this way every Mercury retrograde. But yesterday I was completely floored and hurt and upset because of the way um, a so-called former client of mine treated me. I received an email early yesterday in the morning and saw it sometime in the afternoon and I thought I replied thoughtfully and I thought that my reply was more than kind and more than acceptable. I received an email from someone who used an alias of Mike K. I am someone who has a photographic memory. This can be a blessing for me. I really do have a good memory. Went through my contacts yesterday on both of my phones. I have... Um, two jukebox phones, and one smartphone. So I'm going through all my contacts on two of my different jukebox phones and couldn't find a Mike, M-I-K-E, K, K-A-Y. <laughs> so I'm reading his email to me, and he said that he's going to be revisiting Chicago, and he's going to be staying in Lincolnshire. So Lincolnshire is a suburb that's about 30 minutes away from where I currently live. It would cost me at least $30 via Uber round trip. So he wanted me to meet him in Lincolnshire at 11 o'clock at night. And he told me that he was going to be landing at O'Hare at 10 o'clock at night. And I'm literally 20 minutes away from O'Hare. So I suggested we meet up at O'Hare so that he could just meet me at O'Hare, pick me up, and we could go directly to his hotel in Lincolnshire since I don't know how to drive and I don't own a car. So he claims that he saw me last year and then I went to his hotel in downtown Chicago and he's trying to jar my memory. I asked him if he would just simply just give me a call, but he wasn't going to call me. He said he wants to be discreet, and I suggested he send me a small deposit because um, I can now accept deposits. So I suggested he send me a tiny deposit so that I could be assured of getting my own Uber or I suggested he send me a Lyft or an Uber close to the time uh, when he lands and then I could meet him as his, at his hotel. So I was shocked to find out, oh, there's Mishka. I was ex absolutely shocked and depressed when he wanted me to do everything all by myself. So he wanted me to wait for him to email me at 10 and go to his hotel using my own money and my own Uber without knowing his legal name, without him providing a picture of who he was to jar my memory, and without even calling me. So I told him, good luck. That's not, you know, what I can do to help him. I can't help him at all. His thinking is faulty. And then at about 7.30 at night, I get a random slew of text messages asking me if I'm available in the evening, like at 9.30, to go to somebody's hotel in downtown at 9.30 p.m. So we get on the phone together, and this strange person starts laughing at me and asking me why I'm putting through all this trouble when all I did was ask if I could call him at his hotel room so that I could know who he was and if he was actually staying at the hotel. Hey, I'm not going anywhere unless I know your name, 
your phone number, and if you're staying at a hotel, because I definitely don't want to go out of my way and find out that it's a practical joke. So I had a pretty crappy day yesterday. I mean, I was in good spirits. I had things to pick up at the UPS store. I'm a pretty happy person. But I am absolutely stunned by this new wave of hatred towards people in my field. There are many women now who I guess are pretty desperate and they're broke and broken inside. And they are willing to go to somebody's hotel or meet up with someone on a whim without knowing, A, if the person is providing a real legal name, or B, if the guest is even actually a legitimate guest of the hotel that you're going to be going to. I mean, I don't know why men or clients who are reaching out to me think that I'm going to go to a strange place and meet with them when I don't even know who they are and I didn't even receive a real call from a real phone number that leads to a real person's name. So the highlight of my day yesterday was picking up packages, things that I already ordered, and I liked everything that I ordered. It was awesome. And then I'm riding the train, and this little girl is staring at me, talking with a big smile.